Hey y'all, let's talk some Dallas Cowboys realness, especially when it comes to that O-line, you know? So, 2024 is here, and guess what? The Tyron Smith contract drama is still kicking it, just like those Cowboys on the field. But hold up, things are a bit dicey with Tyron's deal expiring and the dude dealing with more injuries than a bull rider at a rodeo. Now, we're in a real pickle, y'all. Dallas Cowboys at a crossroads, trying to figure out if Tyron Smith is gonna be back in action or if we're left handjin. It's like waiting for a Texas tornado, unpredictable as heck. So, saddle up, Cowboys fans, cause we're about to break it down. We gotta tackle this O-line situation like we're in the trenches, facing a fierce opponent in the NFC East. Tyron Smith's deal up in the air, injuries throw in a curveball, it's like trying to two-step with a wild bull. Let's dissect the situation and explore possible solutions. Tyron Smith, a high-risk decision. Smith, a five-time Pro Bowl selection, was the crown jewel of the offensive line. But persistent injuries have limited his playing time in recent seasons. Renewing an expensive contract for an injury-prone player is always a risk. The Cowboys need to carefully evaluate his health and whether he can remain a reliable mainstay. Alright, y'all, let's talk some Cowboys football, Texas style. Now, we're facing some decisions, especially with Smith's situation. Dallas Cowboys, Cowboys, Dallas, NFL, Football, American Football, Cowboys News, Dallas Cowboys News, Dallas Cowboys News Today, Dallas Cowboys News and Rumors, Dallas Cowboys Latest News, Dallas Cowboys Morning News, you name it, we got it. So, even without Smith, we got a few promising options in the mix. First up, Tyler Linderbaum, see, from the 2023 first-round pick, this guy could be the reliable anchor at center for years to come. And then we got Terrence Steele, RT, yeah, he had some ups and downs, but he's got that massive potential. If Smith takes off, Steele might just step up as our right tackle. Now, let's talk strategy, the draft and picking up some external talent. With our valuable draft capital, the Cowboys could snag some young and talented players. And hey, hitting up free agency is on the table too, but let's be real, elite tackles don't come cheap. Now, here's the real deal, Smith's decision is gonna send shockwaves through the whole O-line. If he stays, we better shore up that depth to avoid a meltdown in case of injuries. But if he walks, we're talking a complete overhaul. And you know what? The O-line's performance is gonna directly impact our QB and the running game. It's a domino effect, my friends. Tyren's been a beast when he's on the field, no doubt. A rock-solid pillar for the Cowboys, making moves and protecting like a true Texan gunslinger. But here's the hitch injuries have been dogging him lately, playing a game of hide-and-seek that's starting to raise eyebrows. Now, we all bleed blue and silver, and Tyren's heart beats Cowboy Blue too. But, and it's a big ol' but, his age and injury rap sheet got the Dallas Big Shots scratching their heads. It's like trying to wrangle a wild bull, tricky business. So, what's the play for Dallas? The bigwigs gotta tread carefully cause we can't afford no fumbles in the upcoming season. Who's gonna step up to the plate if Tyron takes a breather? The offensive line ain't no joke, it's the backbone of our team, the real deal in the game of pigskin warfare. Now, I know y'all are wondering, what's the buzz, what's the juice? Well, the Dallas Cowboys brass gotta figure this out, pronto. It's like a puzzle with missing pieces, you can't just hope it'll solve itself. The game plan for the next season hangs in the balance, and we're all ears for the Cowboys news, especially when it comes to Tyron Smith. So, down in Dallas, we're looking at a few options on the table. First off, we got the whole contract renewal gig with Smith. Now, you know he's been through the ringer with them injuries, but some folks reckon we should roll the dice and keep him around. Experience counts, but dang, them injuries got us all che win our nails. Now, on to the draft. Y'all know how exciting that can be. We're talking about grabbing a young gun, a fresh face to wear them cowboys colors. Sure, it's gonna be easier on the wallet with that rookie contract, but we gotta be patient cause it takes time for them youngins to hit their stride. Then there's the free agency route. Scouring the market for a seasoned vet, someone who's been around the block, you know? But shoot, that can cost us a pretty penny, and there ain't no guarantee they'll be delivering elite-level plays. Last but not least, we gotta ponder promo tin Tyler Smith. This year rookie's been tunnin' heads, no doubt.
But can he saddle up and take on the full-time starter gig? That's the million-dollar question. Hey y'all, let's talk some Dallas Cowboys and the big decisions they gotta make, especially when it comes to Tyron Smith's future. This ain't just about the next game, it's about the long haul, you know? First off, we gotta keep our boy Dak Prescott safe and sound. That means shoring up that offensive line, no ifs, ands, or buts. We don't want no unnecessary heat on Prescott, gotta make sure he's chillin' back there in the pocket. And let's not forget about the run game. A solid left tackle opens up the ground game, gives our offense more moves to make. We're talking about making them defenses sweat, making M guess whether we're passing or running, gotta keep M on their toes. Now, the vibe in the locker room, that's crucial too. Uncertainty in Tyren's spot could mess with the team's mojo, create some turbulence. We want them cowboys walking on sunshine, not dealing with drama. In a nutshell, the decision on Tyren Smith's future ain't no small potatoes. We gotta dig deep, look at all the options, and figure out what's gonna set us up for success. It's like planning the ultimate game strategy, making sure our offensive line is as solid as a rock for the 2024 season. What do you think the Cowboys should do with Tyron Smith? Comment your opinion. Howdy, Cowboys Nation. Y'all won't believe the latest buzz swirling around Dallas, guess who's on the free agent radar? None other than Derrick Henry, the tank from the Tennessee Titans. Hold on to your hats, folks, cause this news is hotter than a Texas summer. Now, I reckon Henry's bulldozer-style play might not fit like a snud boot in McCarthy's Texas-sized offensive scheme, but sometimes you gotta kick up some dust, right? The Dallas Cowboys ain't afraid to shake things up. Imagine the impact, Henry bringing that raw talent, professionalism, and grit to the Cowboys. With McCarthy's contract riding into the sunset, it's crystal clear that Dallas is gearing up for one last rodeo towards the Super Bowl. Could Henry be the missing piece to the championship puzzle? Let's wrangle up a good old debate, can Henry bulldoze through them short yards, explode on them long runs, and even snag a few passes? Is it time for the Cowboys to kick it into a new gear and embrace some power football? Howdy, y'all! We're talking Dallas Cowboys and the buzz around here is hotter than a Texas summer day. Now, picture this, Big Henry, the powerhouse, rolling into Dallas like a bulldozer. The dude's got that raw power, can shake up the game, and make way for the rest of the team. It's like having a Dallas Cowboys stampede on the field. Now, let me break it down for you, the pros and cons of bringing in this football juggernaut. On the pro side, you got that brute force, Henry's a freaking tractor, changing the game's tempo and paving the road for other boys in the yard. And let's not forget the X-Factor, the constant threat of a big play taking the heat off Prescott and the air attack. Plus, the guy's got the Super Bowl champ title and proven leadership, that's some serious mojo. And he's got that extra hunger for revenge after a disappointing 2023, you know he's gonna play like a man possessed. But, hold your horses, we gotta look at the cons too. First off, fitting into McCarthy's short and quick pass philosophy might be like trying to stick a square peg in a round hole for Henry. And there's this mileage issue, Henry might be on the downhill slide of his career and could be more injury prone than a bull in a china shop. Oh, and let's not forget the big bucks, his hefty paycheck could tie the Cowboys' hands when it comes to drafting in free agency. And here's the kicker, bringing in Henry would be like doing a 180 on the Cowboys' current playbook. It's like changing the whole dang game plan. Cowboys Nation, what do you think? Is Derrick Henry the missing piece to take Dallas to the Super Bowl? Or would it be a reckless acquisition that would disrupt the team's tactical system? Share your opinions in the comments and let's discuss this electrifying scenario together. Yo, Cowboys Nation, gather round cause we got some hot gossip straight from the Lone Star State. Big shakeup in the Cowboys defense, Gunther's in, and Graham's holding it down in Vegas. Hold up, NFL fanatics. We're spilling the beans on some backstage drama with not one, but two teams. Dallas is throwing a welcome party for a familiar face, X-Raiders coach Paul Gunther is back in the game, now rocking the defensive coordinator hat for the Cowboys. And who's conducting this defensive orchestra? None other than the new maestro, Mike Zimmer. These two got history, and Gunther might just be the secret sauce to flip the script on Dallas defense. But wait, there's more. 
Over in Sin City, Max Crosby, the Raiders' defensive powerhouse, is pumped about Patrick Graham sticking around. With Graham at the helm, the Raiders landed ninth in points allowed per game last season, and Crosby's betting big on his skills. Is Graham the secret ingredient to keep the Raiders' D on top? Hold on to your hats, folks, is Graham eyeing the head coach spot? Keep tabs on this dude. If he keeps the Raiders' defensive success rolling, he could be the next big thing in coaching. This season's make or break for him, so don't sleep on the latest updates about the Cowboys coaching crew. So, what's in it for you, fans? Brace yourselves for a whole new defensive vibe with Gunther and Zimmer tag-teaming. Will their combined expertise bring the WS we're all hoping for? Crosby and Graham in Vegas, a defensive dream team? Can they recreate last season's defensive magic? And yo, keep an eye on Patrick Graham, future head coach material? His Raiders gig might just be the launchpad for something bigger. Stay tuned, cause this NFL season is gonna be one wild ride, full of twists and turns. Don't blink or you might miss the latest Cowboys news, we got you covered. So, y'all, buckle up and get ready for a wild ride with the Cowboys. Hit that subscribe button, cause you won't wanna miss any of the action. Until next time, keep it Texan.